Hello, everyone. And welcome to Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Now, I'm pretty sure I played this game a long, long time ago on the PlayStation 2 when I was a little kid with my uh, cousin. So I don't really remember much about it except like the beginning portion of the game where you start at an inn or tavern. And then you have to go down into the basement and kill some rats. So, without further ado, let's start a new game. One player, uh, normal. Oh boy, the picture is interesting. Um, let's go with the Elven Sorceress. Saying like part one you are or... weary from your travels, but mesmerized at the sight of Baldur's Gate. Not only a town of myth and legend, but also a place where one can find fame and fortune round every corner. Yeah, very it is hair. night as you enter the city, and it seems strangely deserted. But you soon discover that the night holds danger as well. And in an instant, that danger is upon you. Those guards are just standing there. Easy pickings, hey, eh, Karn? Indeed. Let's see what our little ambush has won us. Halt! Who goes there? It's the watch. Let's get out of here! Yes, but take the gold. Leave the rest for the watch. They got away very easily. Damnable thieves. They grow bolder with each passing day. Still some life in this one. <laughs> Looks like all they did was make off with some possessions. Easy, easy there. That's quite a blow you took. Those thieves that attacked made off with your possessions, but at least you're alive. They're becoming more bold with each passing day. You'd best stay off the streets after the sun sets. It's not safe out here. You can seek shelter in the Elf Song Tavern. It's close enough. Aye, more than enough cutthroats there. Could be one of them would even know how to find those that attacked you. Drawn by a haunting voice, you come to the Elf Song Tavern. It is a small place, filled with a motley assortment of patrons and grisly trophies. There, the haunting voice is all around you, and the patrons are silent as the song washes over them. One by one, they all seemed lost in its call. Beautiful song, isn't it? I've heard her sing a hundred times, and each time it still moves me. Hello there. Uh, hang on a second. I need a. I just remembered. Sorry, guys. You're about to see the whole background here. Uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Perfect. Update. Well, oh, she's beautiful. It's the spirit of an elven woman. She haunts this tavern, singing once every couple of nights. Why does she sing? No one truly knows. Her spirit was here when I first bought this tavern. Some say she sings for a lost love. A soldier who died defending Baldur's Gate. They say she sings in the hope he will hear her voice and return home. Still, that's nothing but hearsay and tales. Welcome to the Elf Song Tavern. What can I get you? Um. What's a thing hanging over the fireplace? That's a stuffed beholder. 
A small version of the species, I'm told. But not that I've seen many of them. One of my regulars, Ethan, found it in the cellar. What's a beholder? They're also called eye tyrants, if that name's any more familiar to you. Beholders are beasts that float above the ground and can cast terrible spells from their eyes. Evil things. I wouldn't want to meet one, and neither would you. I see. Look, I came here because I was attacked on the streets by a band of thieves, and I'm looking to find them. Hmm. Sounds like members of that new thieves' guild I've been hearing about. You're lucky to be alive. Word is they're responsible for the murder of two city watchmen and the disappearance of several thieves from the old guild. So this new guild's at war with the old guild? Yes. Look, I wouldn't cross blades with those thugs if I were you. Just stay clear of them unless you want to end up dead in an alley, all right? I don't have much choice. They stole every last coin I had. If you know where I can find them, tell me. Well, no one knows where their guild hall is. Still, if you're determined to find them, try the sewers. Why the sewers? I'll wager they've been using them to move around Baldur's Gate. It's probably what's been driving all those sewer rats up to the surface. Alright, how do I get into the sewers? Well, there's a gate to the sewers in the cellar of this tavern. I locked it up a long time ago, before the Guild War began. Could I use the gate? Well, there's a problem with that. Actually... Maybe we can help each other out. What do you mean? Well, we've had to lock up the cellar because of the horde of rats that suddenly showed up down there. Clear them out for me and I'll give you the key to the sewer gate. And a little gold to help you get back on your feet. What do you say? I say your breasts keep clipping through your top. It's a deal. The door to the cellar is locked, so you'll need to get the key from Ethan over in the corner there. So who's Ethan? Ethan's one of our regulars. He usually fetches wine from the cellar for me, but uh, he hasn't been able to go down there since the rats appeared. Uh, when did they start appearing? Only this past week. If those thieves are using the sewers to move around Baldur's Gate, they may have driven the rats out. I'll go get the key from Ethan and see about, ta about taking care of these rats then. Luck be with you. And watch those rats. Some of them can be vicious when backed in a corner. You know, I will say this when I was a little kid playing this game. I remember this uh, part of the game, but I really don't remember this elven... Uh, uh, barmaid? Hostess? Uh, patron? Bartender, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, yes. There are no enemies here. Ah, uh, X to save game. There are no enemies here. There are no enemies here. There are no enemies here. Okay, I get it. I think he's too drunk to hold a conversation. Okay. Welcome, friend. If you're looking for a good blade or a sturdy shirt of chain mail, you've come to the right place. Our stock may be a bit low at the moment with the recent demand for weapons and armor, but a new shipment should be coming in soon. What caused this demand? Well, I don't know the cause, friend, but the word is there's been some trouble between the thieves' guilds of late. No matter to me if the two groups kill each other. Never had much use for thieves myself. Now, what can I do for you? Well, I can't really do anything, but let me see what you have. We have many fine deals. What are you looking for? 
Our shop carries the finest dwarven weapons, brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. Swords, axes, bows, we have everything you need right here. If you need something to split someone's skull, or a helm to protect your own, you'll come to the right place. Oh, is this my name? Adriana. If quality and price are your chief concerns, then look no farther. You'll find my shop has excellent weapons at reasonable prices. Hmm. Let's make a quest. Ah, the Illuminati. Access my inventory, right? Okay. I kind of want to see what happens if I unequip. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, what my cousin and I used to do was we used to take off all the clothes of our characters and just run around. For some reason, we thought it was like the funniest thing ever. I can also apparently drop stuff too. There are no enemies here. Okay. Welcome, friend. I saw you come in. Nasty bump on the head you've got there. Something I can do for you? Aleth, the bartender, said you had the key to the cellar. I do. We locked the door to the cellar once the rats started swarming around down there. Did you need it for something? Aleth asked me to take care of this tavern's rat problem. I need to get into the cellar. Are you sure it was the rat problem? Or are you thinking of hunting down those thieves that attacked you? What do you know about that? I overheard your conversation with Aleth. Look, friend, you've met them once and escaped with your life. Don't test your luck twice. I have to find them. They stole every last coin from me, and I aim to get what they stole back. Well, if the thieves won't keep you from going down there, maybe the rats will. What about the rats? The smallest ones, the length of my arm. Huge rats, and they're swarming all over the place down there. Vicious little monsters. Each one could kill a man. Easy. Are they skeevers? Where did these rats come from? They showed up about a week ago. If those thieves that attacked you are using the sewers to move around, then they probably drove the rats out of the sewers. Well, then I'll have to be extra careful, then. All right, then. I won't say I didn't warn you. Here's the key to the cellar door. Don't be too long, or else I'll have to come down and get you. Oh, and before you go, take this dagger. It's uh, not much, but it might do you some good. Before I go, Ayla told me you were the one that found that stuffed beholder over the fireplace. I, I did. I'm sure there are other things lying around down there. The elf songs sheltered many thieves and cutthroats over the years. That's probably why there's that gate to the sewers down there. There's bound to be plenty of bolt holes in the cellar and the sewers. I found the beholder in one of them in a secret door behind some barrels in the far corner of the cellar. I'll keep an eye out for them. Farewell, Ethan. You get a rusty dagger. You get the cellar door key. So, um... There are no enemies here. Is it equipped already? Yes, it is. So can I talk to you again? Take care of those rats yet?
Uh, not yet. What can you tell me about the this new Thieves Guild? Well, I keep my ear to the cobbles, friend, and that new guild that's come to Baldur's Gate is a terror. They're butchers, not thieves. They've killed some of the city watch, and they are said to have left their mark on the bodies. What kind of thieves kill the law and don't even take care to cover their hand in it? Fools, all of them. Or powerful fools. Alright. You know where this new where this new guild came from? That's the other thing. They just came out of the shadows a few weeks ago, and no one can place their faces. Not a one of them is local talent. They have a different way of doing things, and it usually involves a dagger between your ribs rather than lifting your purse. They're killers, not thieves. I'll be careful. Thanks for the information, Ethan. Have you taken care of those rats yet? I'm not giving you the key to the sewers until they're all wiped out. Ignore that. I just wanted to take a picture. Uh, no, not yet. Well, I'd prefer you get to it before they change the name of this tavern to the Rat's Nest. Talk to Ethan if you don't have the key to the cellar yet. Yeah, I just wanted to show that to a friend of mine. Um... Is it upstairs? I guess I can't go upstairs. Um... Exit to town. I don't really want to go to town yet. There are no enemies here. Some gold in that barrel. What was that? Oh, might have just been that. Recall potions are very useful. They will teleport you back to the hub of any act. You can tell. Oh, uh, you can then use them again to return to the location you recalled from. Recall potions are used through the pause menu. All right. And space is blocked, right? Now, if I remember the PlayStation 2 game, there's going to be a sword in this chest here, right? What does that sound?
and sooner or later I'm gonna end up running into giant spiders. So this is a very huge cellar. So that's a lot of recall potions. Oh, I cut his head off. Can I at least equip oops, a left-handed weapon? I'm guessing not. Fifteen rats remain. How big is this place? Ow. Little mouse. Or healing potion. Yeah, we got a lot of rats over here. my health regen slowly. Hmm. Looks like we might have three in here.
Get back here, you! Okay, right quest completed. Return to the tavern to receive a reward from Aleth, as well as the key to the sewers. If you've found a recall potion, use it now by selecting recall. Nah, thanks. Gonna be a giant spider somewhere near here. Can I even use arrows? I'm not an archer. So I just got it. Whoops. I keep pushing tab. I can equip a shield. Hmm. Okay, so I, I can equip arrows. That's good to know, I guess. What do you want? I got no coin to spare, so don't think your begging will make me part with a single copper. I'm not a beggar, and I'm not interested in your coins. I just wanted to know if you do anything about the thieves here in Baldur's Gate. Oh, there's always been thieves in Baldur's Gate. This latest batch may be a bit more bloodthirsty than most, but they haven't crossed me yet. Still, I'd rather be able to part with my coins at the bar than keep them in my purse. Why can't you spend your gold at the bar? Ah, the bartender, Aleth, cut me off two nights ago. I keep coming back, hoping she'll change her mind, but... She hasn't come around yet. And with the cellars locked, uh, I can't slip down below to get a spare bottle to tide me over. But maybe you could. Yeah, if you could find some way to get that cellar door key from old Ethan, then head down to the cellars to get me a bottle, I'd make it worth your while. Um, I don't want to steal from these people. They were nice enough to help me out. Perhaps some other time. Farewell. You're back. Did you see Ethan down there? In the cellar? No, I didn't see him. He, he followed you down there not long ago, and I fear he may have gotten lost in the cellar. Or worse, he may have wandered into the sewers. I tried to stop him. Don't worry, Edith. I've taken care of all the rats, so he probably just got lost. I'll find him. Thank you. But before you go, please take these coins in payment for all you've done so far. Did you just... Did and, you take those coins as out of... promised, here's the key to the sewer gate. Be careful down there. There are bound to be worse things than sewer rats in those tunnels. I'll be careful. Thanks, Edith.
Okay, so a point. A missile of magical energy darts forth and unerringly strikes its target, dealing three to six damage per missile. That's one missile for every two character levels. Intestinal fortitude. This feat increases your health regeneration rate. Um, it actually sounds nice. This feat gives you plus five mana permanently. This feat improves the accuracy of your ranged attacks. This feat provides a targeting line to make aiming easier. Let's go with this. Oh, done. Um... I don't know, should I? It just gives me coin, though. And I don't wanna... Well, I guess I did kinda steal from them already. So I did break all the barrels down there. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I have no idea how we got lost down here. There's only one way to go. Go ahead and save one more time. Enter. Go right. Boop. Lizard creatures. Rusty long sword. Whoops. God damn it. Um But if I equip this, am I gonna oh, I guess I do keep my shield. Okay. bottle of wine. Oh, well, I guess I got it anyways. That didn't work out very well. Oh 
on my the battery on my little cell phone is dying. Yeah, a sec. something indeed I have and I keep doing that all oh, right Z is jump oh that's so strange going to do is I am going to um, save here real quick. That way I don't have to uh, do all that stuff again. So I'm not really sure how to cast magic. Hang on. Uh, options? Controls. That's not it. Oh, drink health potion is one. Whoops. Okay, so I drank a health potion there. I didn't mean to do that. Magic is shift. There's left shift plus left mouse. Okay. In previous spell, up arrow. Toggle weapon. Wait, what was that? Oh, never mind. So, toggle weapon. Okay. And then it is shift. Okay. Oh, come on. No idea what I was doing there. Yeah, that magic helped me out a lot right there. Okay, I was not expecting that. What did I just pick up there? Oh, battle axe I can't use.
Lots of arrows and potions. Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> I literally saw the word ignite and I still hit it. I don't want to go back and save again. Did I just step on a mouse and kill it? Hang on, is there another mouse around here? Let's go ahead and save again. Can't step on them. Also, oh, there's the big spiders. Yeah, boy. Okay. Oh, yeah, they got me. Okay. Maybe I should have done the fire a little bit more. Good thing I saved, though. That didn't work out very well. Okay, maybe I will have to use a health potion. Just kind of hoping I could avoid it. I tried to heal there. Uh, almost. Thank you. 
die already, please. Oh god. What do I get in there? Wow, so my clothes didn't even count as armor. Also, I'm gonna do that. Actually, I'm gonna... Nope. I'm gonna do that so I can have some for a thumbnail. So... I guess I can encrypt those. And, oop, hang on. Guess he got et by the spiders. Who are you? I'm guessing this requires something. Oh, X. Okay. I was not expecting that. anything. So I can... Okay. Let's actually save again. Since I got that. Boop. What's this you've caught? A sewer rat? Don't hurt him. Lord Xantum will wish to speak to him. And he'll need to be in the best of health. Ah, excellent. I was expecting you. Did you receive the package from Lord Xantum? I... I did. And I have it with me. And you know where it is bound? He told me to take it to the crypts and place it within the Chamber of Ashes there. Excellent. The entrance you seek lies on the level below past the sewer grates. Let no one see you enter the temple and do exactly as you have been instructed. Now be on your way. I will return for the prisoner later. Guard him well. Uh, 
Ah. Okay. Well now, that's a lot of rats. Let's uh, try that again. Well, not really again, but let's save again, I mean. Running is useless. What was that? I thought I did something to the water there. Hold on, let me go back into the water and actually have a look. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and save again. I love that save sound. tell how much potions I have. I have 11 little potions. Okay, good. Uh, 
I'm guessing I can't go through those. I'm gonna take a guess and say this is the way to go. Please hurt me. No, I guess not. Well, I'm bloody confused. Which is the way to go? Still alive. Oh, that's a lot of guys there. Hmm. 
Okay then. So maybe I am supposed to go this way. Get back here, you! Coins now. Okay, come on. Oh, yeah, that didn't help. <laughs> Okay, and that is where that boss is. Um, hmm. How do I want to do this? I think I'll wait for my health to regen. Seeing what the space power does with that. And that should be good.
that was close. So did I get something from that? Whoa, I got a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, worn leather boots. Got some padded ones. Don't really, still don't really have anything for a top. Uh, what about weapons? Okay, so I can use an axe. Well, a hand axe. Um. So one to four. That's one to six. I kind of feel like I should go with this one. Also, let's go back and save real quick. So what do I do about all those archers that are up there? Hello, evil name. He's too fat for the door. Well, I wish that were the case. So what do I do here? Oh, ow. Do I just push these around? Is these as cover? I do here. Also, did I, uh, Oh, 
Is there a way to figure out how many arrows I have? Oh, I have a uh, hundred and seventy two. Back to the rats, it looks like. Oh, hello there. Uh, Z? Nope, hang on. Nope. Oh boy, this is awkward.
Okay, that was huge. I'm not strong enough to carry anymore. Ah. Um... Need room for it. Let's see here, what can I drop? back here. Oh god, I almost died. Eesh. So, if I recall, it said I can come back to where I left at. You're back. Did you see Ethan down there? Not yet. Managed to find me a bottle of Aleth's best yet? Yeah, will this bottle do? Hey, it'll do me well enough. Thank you, friend. Uh, here, have a bottle from me. No idea what the thing does, but it smells awful and it doesn't seem to have the kick I was looking for. Thanks, very well. And a healing potion. Who are you? Well met, friend. It's good to see a new face in the Elf Song. Please, have a seat, share a drink. Uh, my name's Ipswich. And what brings you to Baldur's Gate? Well, I had thought to seek my fortune here, but what little fortune I had was taken from me when I entered the gate. Ah, oh, sad tale, friend. My heart goes out to you. It seems Baldur's Gate has not been treating its visitors well of late. I, too, am a stranger here. Why did you come to Baldur's Gate? Well, I came to pay my respects at the Shrine of Suffering, the local temple run by the priests of Ilmatter. But I came to find the temple sealed, and no one answered my summons. I had a terrible feeling that something was wrong inside, but I did not know what. Why did you wish to visit the shrine? <sighs> my brother's bones lie within the crypts beneath the shrine. I'd hoped to pay my respects at his grave and take back with me his medallion that had been buried with him. 
it was always his intention that it be passed on through our family, and now that I have a little one of my own, I wish my child to have the medallion. But now I do not know what to do, so I sit here, drink, and wait for the shrine to awake. If I can find a way into the shrine, I'll see if I can find your brother's tomb. Our shop carries the finest dwarven weapons, brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. Swords, axes, bows, we have everything you need right here. If you need something to split someone's skull, or a helm to protect your own, you've come to the right place. If quality and price are your chief concerns, then look no farther. You'll find my shop has excellent weapons at reasonable prices. The sewers has taken a liking to you. Has it now? We have many fine deals. What are you looking for? Our shop carries the finest dwarven weapons, brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. Swords, axes, bows, we have everything you need right here. Flaming if quality sword, huh? and price are your chief concerns, then look no farther. You'll find my shop has excellent weapons at reasonable prices. Oh, friend, I think the smell of the sewers has taken a liking to you. Many fine deals. What are you looking for? Our shop carries the finest dwarven weapons. Brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. Swords, axes, bows. We have everything you need right here. If quality and price are your chief concerns, then look no farther. You'll find my shop has excellent weapons at reasonable prices. Let's grab this padded armor, shall we? Oh, friend, I think the smell of the sewers has taken a liking to you. Our shop carries the finest dwarven weapons, brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. Swords. So this looks like a dead end.
Oh god, that's a lot of spears. So there are two ways to go. Not sure why this guy died. Oh, this guy. Why well, there are a lot of dead things in here? That's a big rat. How much health does this thing have? Keep turning on caps lock. Is that really it? Well, I got a whole bunch of gold out of it, but still. 
Could have at least like an item. I guess that's fine. Oh, is that a potion right there? Oops. Don't wanna leave that behind. I don't wanna do that again, so let's save. Big guy right there. What do we have here? Kill the intruders! Oh no! on the tent. Now if, you, now if you all can come at me one at a time, that's good. on the tent. Warhammer at least. Let me go ahead and save again so I don't have to fight him again. I got his attention. It's not what I wanted. Oh, dear. 
Ah, okay, good. I can't skip it. Go save again real quick. enough to carry anymore I'm not strong enough to carry anymore mm. also hang on I picked up a mace didn't I oh well it's pretty much the same as my axe Actually, uh, recall again. If you need something to split someone's skull, or a helm to protect your own, you've come to the right place. has taken a liking to you. We have men. Okay. Could have been better.
out of prison, so key on the bug on the bug barrel. <laughs> How many potions, uh, potions did I go through there? Um... So, 17 damage a second. Um... I kinda wanna do that one for now. Strong enough to carry anymore. Mm. Up to town. Okay, I need a uh, recall. I need to sell some stuff again. Our shop carries the finest dwarven weapons, brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. Swords, axes, bows, we have everything you need right here. What do rubies do for me? Do I need them for anything or can I just sell them? If so, you need something to on, split someone's skull or a helm. I am using a lot of recall potions. <laughs> Why this has a little thing right there. Thank the gods you're here. Any longer, and I'd be sitting in some kobold's belly. Aelith told me you'd followed me down into the cellars, Ethan. I'm glad I found you. Well, after I gave you the cellar door key, I felt guilty about letting you head down here without help, so. I followed you down. No sooner do I get down here than I'm surrounded by those yapping cobalt devils and they haul me to this cell and lock me in. But the door to the sewers was locked. How did you get down here? There's an entrance to the sewers from the street and I used that. I knew about it from my days when I was in the guild. The old guild, not the new one. You're a thief? retired. That life's behind me. Still, I've kept a bit of what I've learned, and it might help you now. What do you mean? I managed to pick this key off the chieftain you killed. I think it unlocks a gate deeper in the sewers. If you're still aiming to catch those thieves that robbed you, then you'll need it. While I was locked up here, I overheard some of the thieves from this new guild planning a mission. And that's what I heard. I don't know what that thief was carrying, but it can't have been good. If you want to stop whatever deviltry they've got planned, then you'll need to head deeper into the sewers and find that thief. I'll find him. Give me the key and I'll head deeper into the sewers. All right then, I don't need to tell you to be careful. I'll meet up with you at the Elf Song Tavern later on. Come find me when you've found that thief and what he was carrying. 
I'll try to dig up some of my old contacts and see if they can tell me anything about these thieves that could help you out. All right, very well, Ethan. So that's what this is. But I can go up to town if I want to. I can't enter it. So excuse me. Is there really nothing up here? the tavern. If quality and price are your chief concerns, then look no farther. You'll find my shop has excellent weapons at reasonable prices. Oh, friend. I think the smell of the sewers has taken a liking to you. We have many fine deals. What are you looking for? shop carries the finest dwarven weapons brought here all the way from the sunset mountains so i'm level three can i not change bows we can i not upgrade my stats you need right here or are those just fixed listen what is that family heirloom if you need Find something to split someone's ah. skull or a helm to protect your own you'll come to the right place wait i have a point i can spend I can only spend if quality a little power and price though. are your chief concerns, then look no farther. You... Uh, how much money did I have? Oh, friend, I think the smell of the sewers has taken a liking to you. We have many fine deals. What are you looking for? Our shop carries the finest dwarven weapons, brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. Swords, axes, bows, we have everything you need right here. If you need something to split someone's skull, or a helm to protect your own, you'll come to the right place. If quality and price are your chief concerns, then look no farther. You'll find my shop has excellent weapons at reasonable tools. I think I'm going to stop there for now. 
Uh, oh, I can change players. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm going to stop there. Give it a break. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.